All right, what a difference a week has made in the reconstruction of the Fern Hollow Bridge. Half of the massive support beams are now in place and more are arriving today. New this morning, John Shumway has an update on the progress. A lot being made here. No doubt about it, and so many drivers want this bridge back oh, yeah. as soon as possible. And as you can see, the progress is pretty doggone impressive. From Sky I-2, you can see just how far they've gotten in one week of moving massive beams from Blair County to their spots on the bridge. Ten beams have been set, and uh, this week we will have uh, six more beams, uh, I'm sorry, four more beams set. Once the remaining four are placed today and tomorrow for the Squirrel Hill side of the bridge, the massive crane will be disassembled, moved, reconstructed. That takes six days. So next week, beams will start arriving on the Regent Square Point Breeze side coming down the Parkway East. I know they will be getting off at the Edgewood exit and then they will actually back off the exit the whole way through Regent Square, the whole way up to Braddock Avenue and then down Forbes. By Tuesday the 16th, all the beams will be in place and they'll start getting ready to pour concrete. After the 16th, you'll see you stay in place forms, which are what you pour the concrete into. They'll be going up. Then obviously there's a whole lot of rebar that will be tied out there. And uh, then probably not till the middle end of September will you actually see the concrete uh, coming out onto the decks. The bridge is facing some supply chain issues, the railings and the light poles. We may be opening the bridge without the highway lighting uh, on the bridge. We might have to have temporary lights or, or no lights at first. Um, because the light, the light pole um, delay is, is very long. But Moon Sirianni says that's a hiccup, not a roadblock. Yeah, we're hoping, we're hoping it's, uh, we have it open by the end of the year. Yeah, Moon Sirianni says the cooperation of the city, the contractor, the permitting agencies has all been invaluable to keep this project moving ahead so quickly. So why is this happening so fast when yeah. other projects seem to take forever to get finished? <laughs> You mean like Route 28? Well, right. Yeah, I mean, you look <laughs> at this right, yeah. and so many people affected by so many different right. road projects that take forever. Well, this one was given emergency status by the state and the federal government, and that allows them to bypass a lot of the red tape that normally slows down a project. 18,000 drivers a day use this bridge, and it's putting a lot of stress on other roads like the Parkway East every day that that bridge is out of operation. It's very true. Yeah. I mean, and, and the speed is happening. It's happening very fast yeah. compared to most projects. Yeah. All right. Thank you, John. We appreciate the update.